Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring LeBlanc, the Deceiver. Our special guest is Koronak, her main designer. The first ability is Sigil of Silence. LeBlanc projects an orb towards the target, dealing magic damage and marking the target for 3.5 seconds. If the target takes damage from one of LeBlanc's abilities, the mark will trigger dealing damage and silencing the target. The second ability is Distortion. LeBlanc rapidly moves to a target location, dealing magic damage to nearby units. In the following three seconds, she can activate Distortion again to return to her starting location. The third ability is Ethereal Chains. LeBlanc flings illusionary chains towards the target location. If it hits an enemy unit, it will deal initial magic damage and slow their movement speed by 25%. If the target remains shackled for two seconds, the target takes additional magic damage and is unable to move. Her ultimate is Mimic. LeBlanc can cast the previous spell she cast. The Mimic spell deals significantly increased damage and is on a 30 second cooldown. Properly choosing which spell to Mimic will separate the great LeBlancs from the good. Her passive is Mirror Image. When LeBlanc is brought below 40% health, she instantly becomes stealth for half a second. When the stealth fades, she creates a Mirror Image that deals no damage and lasts for up to 8 seconds. Mirror Image is only about deception and not damage like Hallucinate. It is intended to fit thematically while not disrupting your combat rhythm. LeBlanc has changed quite a bit in her development. Cognizant that we were releasing three AP casters in a row, we wanted them to serve significantly different roles from one another. Initially we experimented with a tank concept for the character, but ultimately that felt more fitting for Swain, as we wanted LeBlanc to be a high energy and high skill cap character. The second kit for LeBlanc focused around movement and distance manipulation. It was at this point we decided Distortion provided very powerful gameplay and that Mimic was created. Once we had those two abilities we really liked, we created Sigil of Silence and Ethereal Chains with two goals in mind. Create compelling choices to mimic, and make sure both of the spells made the use of Distortion more predictable to fight against, and give LeBlanc strong incentive to not just save Distortion to escape. I take standard caster runes, magic penetration, mana regeneration per level, flat cooldown reduction, and flat health. My masteries are also typical, 9021 with Ignite and Improved Flash. If you take a solo lane, you don't have a lot of power very early on, so you shouldn't try to harass too much. However, her attack animation is excellent, so it should be fairly easy to consistently last hit minions. Start aggression at level 5. Cast Sigil of Silence and then Distortion to trigger the mark, immediately casting Ethereal Chains and Ignite. Once you've nurtured the root, Sigil of Silence will be available to finish off your target. Maxing Sigil of Silence gives you the best guaranteed damage output. I harass Misfortune by jumping into range with Distortion and an immediate Sigil-Mimic combo. When Mimic cools, it allows me an easy kill. If you hurry, you'll have time to reactivate Distortion to retreat. Always consider what use of Mimic is best. While Sigil of Silence deals more damage, I Mimic Ethereal Chains because the extra root allows Ramus to catch up and get an assist. If you don't burst your target down immediately, you'll be left without an escape. I use Distortion to chase Cassidy, which results in being stranded. Even without Mimic, the order of your spells matter. Here, I hit Vladimir with Ethereal Chains and then Sigil of Silence. Because he's not silenced, he flashes out. For champions without escapes, leading with Ethereal Chains is fine. However, in this case, Sigil of Silence would have triggered when I hit Ethereal Chains and given us an easier kill. Here's an instance where I perform my spell order correctly. Sigil of Silence into an immediate Mimic keeps Cassidy from Rift walking away, while I still have Distortion and Ethereal Chains both available to trigger the Mimic's Sigil for up to 5 seconds of silence. When fighting a champion with no escapes like Garen, you want to reserve Mimic for Ethereal Chains. I Distortion into range for Chains, and after his silence, toss another one on via Mimic. Seeing Misfortune stunned by Scion, I save Ethereal Chains and just kill her with Sigil of Silence and Distortion. Since all of LeBlanc's abilities have such different uses, you need to be aware of how the battle will unfold, as now I have Ethereal Chains available for Scion. I max Sigil of Silence right away, followed by one point in Distortion and maxing Ethereal Chains by level 13. Mimic should obviously be maxed immediately as well. 
I take two Doran's Rings and Sorcerer's Shoes early on, because most of her dominance is through the early and mid game. If you're performing well, grab Magi's Soul Stealer. Because her specialty is single target damage output, I grab Deathfire Grasp and then Haunting Guys to make sure I'm doing maximum damage to squishy targets. Afterwards, I get Zonia's Ring and Void Staff. Other great items to choose from are Rod of Ages, Riley's Crystal Scepter, and Archangel's Staff. Thank you.